In the first lecture on estimation, we concluded that the central limit theorem applied to our problem. And uh, so therefore, our sampling distribution is a nice uh, normal curve. That is, if we took uh, millions and millions of samples of size 2,000, they'd form a nice normal curve like this. And we partition off 90% of the normal curve as shown below. So, uh, and <clears throat> we hope that our, uh, our particular uh, sample will land somewhere between here and here. In fact, we're 90% sure that it will. Uh, we're 90% confident that, that, that it will, that 0.79 will be between here and here. Now the problem is, of course, we don't know where here and here is. So uh, we start looking for here and here, right? The, the, the uh, boundaries of this 90% um, confidence interval. And uh, the one we can all, since we know this is the area here is 0.45, we can look it up on a Z table. And when we do, we get 1.5 standard deviations. This way, and of course minus 1.5 standard, excuse me, 1.65 standard deviations this way, and minus 1.65 standard deviations this way. And so we're 90% confident that our sample will be within 1.65 standard deviations of the um, of the actual uh, proportion, population proportion. Now, how far is that in percentages? Well, what we do is we uh, we take the size, we take the number of standard deviations and multiply it times the size of the standard deviation, which we calculated this uh, number in the first lecture uh, as a consequence of the central limit theorem, and we get 0.01502, or, or about 1.5 percent. So now we know this. By the way, this 0.01502 is called the sampling error. And we now know that uh, we're, we can be 90% confident that our sample will be within 1.5% of the actual proportion, population proportion. So we're within 1.5% of what we're actually looking for, which is the population proportion. Now we can turn the tables on this. OK. Oops, maybe we ought to look at this. We know from the central limit theorem that there's a 90% chance that any sample, including ours, will be within 1.5% of the actual population proportion. Well, we already said that. So we go down here, and we're going to turn the tables on this, and we're going to turn it around, and we're going to say this means that we are 90% confident that P will be included in the interval P hat plus or minus the sampling error for any simple random sample, including ours. So our confidence, so we say the confidence interval is 0.79, that's our, our proportion, our sample proportion, plus or minus 0 0.01502, or we say comma uh, 0 0.7750,8050. Now what's our conclusion? How do we relate all this, all these numbers back to the problem? Well, here's what we say. We say we are 90% confident that the proportion of people in the, in the United States whose credit report contains errors is between 0.7750 and 0.8050.